Hey guys, I just want to uh, give you a follow-up review of the Forma Predator 2.0 boots that I got one year ago, almost one year ago. Uh, you know, it's it's a long term review, so I just want to tell you the uh, boots held very very good. They are basically in perfect condition, I just need to wash them out and they will look totally uh, fine. I had something like uh, 60 hours with them or maybe eh, something like that, 60 hours with them or 70 hours. Um, I'm riding, riding a KTM 300 with the stock foot pegs and the sole is in perfect condition. Okay, you can see there is barely, barely anywhere. This is the uh, rear brake boot so nothing you can see basically nothing that's the only way I can see it um, everything is held up in place nothing got broken even the um, toe protection no screws get, got loose or the inner parts the inner foam got ripped or uh, torn or anything else this part is, is as new also all the buckles are in place no need to I didn't I didn't uh, tighten them during this uh, period uh, the hinge is working fine you know you need just to wash it and maybe um, lubricate it once a while I think so just you know so you won't have this uh, <coughs> sounds the <laughs> crooked sounds and I don't know what to say so the the two drawbacks I have with this boot is um, this part. Okay, when I'm putting the boots on, I think I mentioned it. I mentioned it in the uh, in the first video once one year ago. But again, I just need to every time I'm putting uh, those boots on, I need to be aware of it. And uh, you know, I got used to it and then do it very fast. But I need to um, check that this part. Okay, this plastic is pushed to here and then I need to take this part and move it above it okay if I won't do it it will catch beneath it and then I won't be able to um, take those traps and buckle them which is uh, maybe it will be quite annoying for some of you guys but uh, I'm doing it very fast. I just, you know, I got used to it. The scotches are brand new, as you can see. Nothing got um, taken apart or anything. It's basically new. I just need to wash them, as I told you before. Um, the second negative thing I can say is the weight. So w once I put them on, I feel very nimble on the bike and I do not. Um, feel heavy but they are weighting I think 5 LBS each one of them so it's quite a lot I have the uh, I got them on scale on the first video so go check it out I need to put some English uh, subtitles though um, but maybe for someone who is doing motocross so when you need not to get your leg up for the turns and the um, burns and maybe doing it a lot for a long time a um, few laps maybe you will get tired I don't know but um, those are the two things maybe uh, maybe also the uh, this part which is which got the steel plate to protect your um, fingers so you don't feel the shifter as good as as a um, other softer boots so called but uh, after a few rides you are mastering it again and everything is still fine I do, I do not miss the shifts or something like that and that's that's it basically oh maybe I, I think I think the Thoma should give you um, longer buckles for these two lower one J uh, sorry longer uh, straps for, uh, that's what I think um, for some of you that you know have wide 
legs. Oh, right foot. I can see some of warm areas here, but it's from the buckles. As you can see, maybe because they are too tight, as I told you. Uh, other than that, those are uh, pretty in pretty good condition. Uh, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, please um, comment below. I'll try to answer them. Have a great, uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, consider subscribing. Bye, bye, guys.